Fog Football back with our latest FIFA 23 ratings predictions. Where we're going to rate all the Scottish Premiership clubs, our own ratings, and then what we actually think they're going to be given in the game. We've already done Rangers, it's now to move to Celtic the Greens. And we're going to start with Joe Hart. Technically we should have done Celtic first since they're the champions, I think. Maybe, but I felt uh, Rangers, you know... Made a lot of signings, got rid European of European finalists. I, mean, uh, I feel like we were Celtic, they've kept more or less the same team with the odd player getting brought in, so I feel like, you know, Celtic... Well, there's nothing wrong with Celtic going second, is there? Is there? Not really. Do you think they'll be second come the end of the season? What are we talking? Champions League here? Or... Fuck, it takes it. You see if you offered a Celtic fan to finish, to come runners-up in the Champions League final right now? Do you think they'd take it, despite the fact they're in the Champions League? And there's no chance they'll get to the oh final. Oh my god. Of course they'd take it. That's what I'm saying. Off you're off from them runner up. Champions League final. No, but I think some of them are done with it. To think, but that means we won't win it then. You know, because they're obsessed. Uh, o- obviously, you, you would take it. How about the memories? That means you get through the group stage, you get all the way to the final. Leave the memories alone. Although, don't get me wrong, it would be a bit negative knowing that. You're not going to win. You're going to de- definitely lose the final. I see, it's a cool dynamic. But if you don't accept it, you're not going to be in the final. So it's like... It's a lot of money to turn down. But Joe Hart took a lot of money to join well, Celtic. On, that, that's like saying... Uh, yeah, if, if you go on who has to be a millionaire, would you settle for getting the like 500 million, but you're not going to win the, the million? But we don't want to give you that. You'd be like, I ah, well, I mean, 500 grand is still pretty good. Like, Definitely. But Joe Hart, he's on 500 grand a week, I'm hearing. 76 rated it last year in FIFA... I'm going to give Joe a 75. One, because he does fuck all in nets. And two, on his day, he is pretty good. But I think those days were about 10 years ago. I don't think he's very good. Well, I'm going 75. What are you going? Most overrated goalkeeper in the league for me. Damn. Not a fan of him. I'm going to give Joe Hart... I'm going to give Joe Hart a 72. 72, fair enough. Uh, in terms of what they'll rate him, I mean... Obviously, they won the league. He kept a lot, a lot of clean sheets. I think FIFA will just be a blind to this and probably give him the same rating. I'm going to go 76. I think they'll bump him up. I think I'm think i going to go 78. 78, fair enough. Uh, so go 77 then in the middle, aye. Yeah. Um, right. Scott Bean, I think this guy's shite. Probably warrants a bronze, so I'm going to give him a 64. I think he actually got a couple of Scottish caps, do you know? In his, in Early his prime, days? Aye. In his pr- aye, when Scotland were... I don't think Scott Bain's that bad, actually. He's got a 67. I, I would keep him at about 67. I mean, I, I just think anybody... I think Celtic blamed anybody for that disastrous season where Rangers won 54. Or 55, even. I know, a lot of blame getting fired around, like... It's just a bad, bad season. Like, doesn't mean Scott Bain's shit. I would actually probably start Bain over Hart, like, but that's just me. I would keep him at 67. What? I think he's all right. You'd all right. start Bain over Hart? I would, I. Why? I'm no having it. Ryan one one eight pretending Joe Hart's the best fucking goalkeeper alive. Shite. He's not. Ne- he's n- n- never in a million years can he lace up uh, Gordon's gloves. So yeah, I don't. I don't rate Hart. <laughs> Does he lace gloves these days? Or? I don't know. Well, sometimes... You say the Felgo straps like not the fucking lacing of the gloves. I think you do get gloves with like wee laces. But that'd just be easy to come out. At least with Felcro, like it's, it's in no, there. Not if you double knot it. Anyway, what's this going to be? I'm going to give it a sixty six. There's no reason to go up. I'll agree with that, like, I suppose. Do you think he's going to go down one? Six, oh, six, aye, six. aye. Fucking wish. Um, Seagrist. Uh, I like Seagrist. Um, 69 for Dundee United. I'm going to give him a 74. I think he's a really... I think he's a pretty good goalie. Uh, uh, yeah, I know. He's getting the, the big move to Dundee United. I, mean, I like him. I'm going aye, to say... Celtic from Dundee United, mate. I think, I'm going to say 73. You're going to say 74. Yeah. In reality, though, what will he get? I, I mean, I think he will go up. But 72. You know, you're going 70. I was going to say 70, I think so. We'll go 71. That's in, that's in the middle. So, our goalkeepers, our predictions for FIFA 23. We're going with Joe Hart, 77, Bain, 66, and Seagrist, 71. All right, let's move on to Julian here. I mean, straight away, you can just you can tell based on these ratings that FIFA give ratings that the players just based on what they've done in the past. I mean, you look at Forrest, 75, Julian, 75. Moy, 77. You know, there's, yeah, there's no way these players were the best players for Celtic last season. But they're like the high-profile players. 
I, got, I, I bet when Joey Barton went to Rangers and Sandros went to Rangers, they were among the highest Rangers players in the squad. Yeah. Um, you know, it is what it is, but it, sh- it shouldn't be that way. Julian. No, but no one thinks a joke, though, right? The Rangers players, like, the ratings have not really changed that much since those days. And look how much better Rangers are. Yeah, well. You know? Anyway, Julian, I think he's going to get a downgrade. I mean, he's been injured. I can't remember the last time he fucking played. Well, it's so, not about what we think he's getting, but what do you think he is? What I, I think Julian. It's about 72. I'm going to say 73. I'm going to give him a 72. You're going to go 73. Yeah. And uh, what I think they'll give him, I think they'll downgrade him to silver. I'll go 74. 74? Fuck, I, I was going to say 70. Considering how about he Well, we'll go 72 then. That's in the middle. Fair I mean, enough. the guy can't even get a game. He's, he's probably days away for getting sold. Starfell, I'd say about 70. I'm not convinced Starfelt's any good. I think, I think Carter Fickers makes him look better than he is. Um, I'm going to say I'll I'll stick with the 71. You know what? I think 71's an okay rating, but he, he does seem very error prone. What are you giving him? 70. 70. And the rating for FIFA, I think we'll just stick with 71 then. 71. Right, okay. We'll Next up sure. with Jens, uh, scored a bicycle kick. Looks actually better than Starfelt and Julian. I'll, I think he's probably in the mid 70s. I'll give him a 74. I was going to say 74. In terms of what FIFA will give him, I don't really know too much about his season last year. He'll get an upgrade just because he went to Celtic. And I'll he's... give him a 70. 70? Yeah, I don't think... What? What's a plus three? Like, that's no, decent. I was going to go 72. All right, we'll go 71 then. That's it. Boom, 71. Uh, Cameron Carter Fickle, 72 last season. I think his actual default card was a 69. But then they upgraded it. So we've we'll put 72 in here. And then does it really matter? Um, you know, one is exactly. This fits about this year. Damn it. Celtic standout defender last season, probably one of the best centre backs in the league. People would probably say the best centre back in the league last season. Uh, maybe, maybe. I think he's good. You know, I think he deserves a gold. I'm gonna say Carter Figgers. I'd say he's about seventy six. I'll give him a seventy five. Well, I think he'll get. I think he'll get a seventy six. Seventy six. Oh, I'll go stick with that then. Uh, Welsh seventy. 70. I actually think Welsh is no bad. I'm going to say Welsh is a 71. Ooh. 71. In terms of what he'll get, I'll say 70. I'll go 70. Do you think 70 is fair? Oh, aye. Juranovic. Talk of a £50 million move to Chelsea. Um, 50? Yep. Oh, aye. What I think Juranovic is, I think Juranovic is like a 76. A lot of Celtic fans believe he's better than Tavernier. Oh, come on. Doesn't have quite have the goals and assists that Tavernier does, does he? Though I mean, I'd say he's better. Oh, I'd say obviously he's probably is better defensively, but I wouldn't say he's fucking great defensively. I mean, like when Rangers scored that goal against him at Ibrox, he was fucking caught in no man's land. You know, I'm gonna say. I think of other examples. So I'm gonna give Juranovic a seventy-six. Are you giving him what? I give him a seventy-six as well. FIFA, what are they give him? I think they'll give him a seventy-six. Seventy-six. So seventy-six all round then. Anthony Ralston ha- had a really good year, 71 last season. I don't believe his base card was 71, but I believe they updated him throughout the season to 71, which I think is fair enough. He obviously got a call up to Scotland, um, pretty, scored a pretty good goal for Scotland as well. Uh, yep. Has improved at Celtic. I'll give him a 74. <sighs> okay. I'm going to give him a 72. Guys still young, still can improve. I- that, that's why I'm getting on a 72. Uh, and as for FIFA 23, what will his rating be? What's he getting? 72. 72, right. I've underrated it, Ralston. He's top man. He scored that goal against fucking... He scored that goal for Scotland, and that's all that matters. Yeah. Fuck his Celtic career. Craig Taylor, another man that I think has improved a hell of a lot over the past year. Probably the best left-back in the league at the moment, if we're being honest. Yeah. Uh, I, I would say... I mean, from what I've seen for Greg Taylor, I'm going to boost him up to a 73. I'll give him a 73 as well. And what do you think FIFA's going to give the guy? About 70, 73. 73? Oh, fair enough. And uh, Bernabe coming in. Oh, I haven't seen him play yet. I'll just but, give him has a se- he even had a game yet? I'll just give him 70. I don't really is know. He, is he played? No, I don't know. Uh, okay, I'll give him You're 70 Celtic as well. man, you should know. I'm the Celtic man, I. Oh, he's took out well, guys. Anyway, it's FIFA 23 rating. I'm going to go 70. 
aren't you? Right. Midfield time. Ida Gucci, the forgotten man. Ah, uh, I'm just going to give him a 67. Right. What are you giving him? 67. Haven't seen him play. I think you have, mate. You know, he's Celtic TV. Go fuck yourself, man. Seriously. Just because I think Celtic going the league means I'm a Celtic man. No, I think. I'd rather. I'd rather. Yeah, I, I, I No, I, I would actually rather know. You're my... what they call him in disguise, mate. <laughs> <Let's just fuck laughs> Listen, I, 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 I would rather know my football than be a delusional bastard and thinking last year, oh, Rangers are winning this league. Thinking this year, Rangers, Rangers are shite. I'm sorry, it is what it is, right? The, the only reason, are, the, the only time you've went against Celtic is that game there against Hearts where you thought that every decision was wrong and that Celtic should have had twelve reds. Well, Nielsen seems to think it as well. Because Nielsen's a fucking clown, Ryan. One on eight's right. And you're you're sort of both fuck. No, you're just both fucking wrong. <laughs> you're both pish, right? Ah, uh, no, I don't rate this guy. I think he's done. I get that. This is a perfect example where a, a former Premier League player having a big rating. Probably got a face scan as well. He just doesn't deserve the 77 rating for me. I would say Moy is like a 72 at this stage of his career. I'll say 73. 73. What they'll give him? I think they'll give him a slight downgrade. I'll go with 76. 76. I was going to say 75. I'll, I'll, I'll meet your 76. Like, but, uh, whatever. Right. David Turnbull, 74. I think he was 74 last year as well. He's been injured though. We haven't really seen a lot of David I Turnbull. Turnbull. But why is he not like? Why is he never in the Scotland squad? Yeah, I rate him too. Like, I think he's always injury prone. Uh, you know, he's a 74. I'd, I'd say I'd say 75. Yeah, I'm going to say 75. Give him the gold. Do you think FIFA will give him a gold or will they keep him on that level of silver? I think they'll upgrade him one. I think most players in Celtic will just get that slight bump. Uh, all right, McCarthy, I believe he's... Yeah, so when the game first came out, he was 74. I think by the end of the season, in the latest update, he was down to a 67. So they took seven ratings off him. And I think that's fair. I mean, the guy... But see, that's just down to the the Premier League fucking tax, is it? Yeah, oh, he's a 74 because he, he played in the Premier League, but then then a year at Celtic. And don't get me wrong, he does deserve downgraded because he was a year at Celtic and didn't do nothing. But see, he could have stayed in the Premier League. He could have stayed at Everton, sat on the bench for a year, and he would have still been 74. I'll give him 70. Well, I'm giving him a 66. 66? Fuck. I don't hell. think he's any good. What they'll give him? I think they'll give him a 68 then. We'll meet halfway. Fair enough. Alright, okay. Well, he was 67 last season, so. That doesn't mean he harmed it. Anyway, sure. sure. Uh, I'll give him a 62. I'm, I don't know who he is. Well, I know who he is, like, but I haven't, I haven't seen him play, so. I, I mean, I've maybe seen like five minutes of him here and five minutes of him there. I'm going to stick with the 61 that he got. Uh, I think, what, rate Fever 23, we'll rate him 62, but he'll probably get a booster one. I mean, he was younger, so he's getting... I mean, no day getting... Robertson! He wasn't in the game last season, didn't have a rating. So, therefore, it's hard to judge him. I have no idea who he is, so... 60, 60, 60. Six, 60 across the board? One, 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 eight. Yeah, I mean, I feel like if you're getting under 60, it's a bit harsh, so we'll give him... A... Callum McGregor, in my opinion, the most overrated player in the Scottish Premiership. And that might be controversial, and I know Ryan One One Eight loves this guy and, and makes him out to be the Scottish Pirlo, but nah, for me, Cal McGregor's the most overrated player in the league. What's he do? Oh, so you agree with me? I think he's shite, yeah. No, do you agree he's the most overrated player in the league, oh, or or one of them in the league? I mean, I could probably go to any of these players. Uh well, probably like I don't know who we've mentioned, like Hart, for example. But I probably say oh wait, so. so you think the most overrated player in the league is definitely a Celtic player? I'd say so. Oh, fair enough. I think it's McGregor. I'd say the Celtic midfield is by far the worst, but they'll make out he's great because he's the captain. And I feel like Brown came under that as well. Oh, he's the captain, even though he's just surrounded by better fucking players. I know. Um, I, I, I'm going to say McGregor. And fucking Brown had, like, uh, Stuart Armstrong and all. Yeah, any time I see McGregor start for Scotland, I'm always thinking, really? I'm a bit weary. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give McGregor a 75. Well, let's be real, right? Is there much difference between a Ryan Jack and a Cal McGregor? But yet, they would like you would be led to believe that Cal McGregor is like the fucking rock. I ten times better. I don't really. Even don't though know. I would say I think Jack on his day without his injuries is better. But we we'll move on. Well, we're not. We're not, we're mo- not moving on because you need to give your seventy four. Fuck it, I'll give him a wee silver. What do you think FIFA will give him? Seventy eight. So you think he's gone up? My captain won the league. Yeah, he's doing up. Okay. Hatati! Yeah. I think Hatati's good. I'd give Hatati like a 77. 
I'm going to say 76, so uh, there you go. But what do you think FIFA will give them? Do you think they're going to boost them that I'll much? I'll give them a 74. 74, so it's going to go up by three. Not quite the gold, but um, right, again, I mean, I, I think this is just an example of FIFA rating players based off their past. You know, Forrest, did he have a good Celtic career? Yes. Had a good international career at times for Scotland as well, but is he really a 75 anymore? He's worse than Alan. I'm giving him a 68. I think he's fucking done. I think he's done. And he's not even that old. What is he, like 40? It's just, I think it's just mad that he's rated 75. I know. I don't see how Forrest is higher than... All right, I'll give FIFA... I'll cut them slack. They didn't know the likes of Hitachi and all that, but I, I find it hard to believe at the start of last season you could make a case to say James Forrest was better than David Turnbull. I, I find that hard to believe. Like I, yeah. I couldn't make that case. But FIFA did make it. You're giving him six to eight. Um, I'll give him a set. I'll give him seventy. No, I'll give him the benefit of the doubt. Sixty nine. Sixty nine. Then we're going for the big six nine. I'll be a downgrade of six. Be interesting if that happens, right? Matt O'Reilly, a, a player that I like, but I think he gets a bit overrated by Celtic fans. He's better than McGregor. I'll give him a seventy five. Um, Ryan, the, the jobber Ryan, saying that this guy is going to be world class and get Ryan a move. Ryan McGinley. All right. Says that this guy I knew that name. says this guy will like, move to like a top top elite club, and will will net Celtic millions. Is he, is he quite that good? What I mean, he scored an alright amount of goals. But if you, what have you seen in six months or whatever, seven months that it warrants that? An elite club. This guy's going to Real Madrid. Tom O'Reilly. I'm gonna give or him a seven. Matt O'Reilly. I'm gonna give him a seven. Don't name them. Then I'm name. giving him seventy five. What are you giving him? Seventy five. What do you think FIFA will give him? 74. 74. Right, silver then. All right, last midfielder, Mickey Johnson. This guy's career's going nowhere. 65. Fuck it. I get 65? It. What's he doing? When's the last time he even played for something? I'll give him 67. What do you think FIFA will give him? 68. 68, right. The forwards were almost there. It's been a long time. Uh, right, now we're on to Maida or Mieda, whatever you want to call him. The, the bald Japanese dude that just never stops running. I actually think he's all right. It's, a lot of Celtic fans want him dropped. They think that that uh, the starting three should be Furahashi, Jota, and Abada. But nah, I like Mieda. Whether he should be starting or not, I don't know. But I think Mieda's actually underrated. 74. That's exactly what I was going to say. I think, I think Mieda's underrated by uh, by Celtic fans. And it's not often you say that. Most of them are over overrated. But nah, I think he's underrated. Right, FIFA 23. What, where are they, what are they going with? What are they saying? 73. Do you think 73? I was going to say 72, but we'll wait. We'll go 73. Uh, Jota. 74. Arguably the best player in the league at the moment, in my opinion. Uh, the only thing that would stop me giving him a high rating is he is still relatively young. What age is he, 23? I'll give Jota an 80. An 80. I'm going to give him an 80. I'll, I'll give him an 80. 80 is fair. I'll give him an 80. What FIFA will give him? I think 78. 78, boom. Abada, 72 last season. I think definitely showed some good signs. 75. He's only 19, though, so I'm, I'm going to give him a 73 just. I'm giving him one. I'll give him a 75. I'm giving him a 75. Um, well, actually, no, that's wrong. I mean, 73 is what I think FIFA will give him. I, yeah, I, I would agree with you. I'd say I'm, I'd, I would give him 75. But I think because of, of his young age and stuff, I think he's still only 19. I think he'll get a 73. Yeah. Uh, Jetty up next. Uh, 64. 64? This guy's pish. You're giving them bro. Oh, he had he had 20 minutes against Real Betis. I wonder who that else had 20 minutes. Dundee United against Acer Altmar. And what the fuck did that end up? Who is it that said... Remember somebody says uh, he was well unplayable? Uh, John Hartson. Was it, uh, John Hartson, fuck me. He was like R9 for 20 minutes against Real Betis. I mean, it was real fucking Betis, like... But be... Umar Sadiq was linked by a 52 million move to Bayern Munich. Does that mean anything? So did he not complete the move? No. No. Um, I was going to say something I shouldn't there, so we'll just move on. 66. I'm going to, I'll say 66. As for what FIFA will give him, I'll, I'll say 60. I think 67. Aye, 67. Furuhashi. Kyogo Furuhashi. I'm, I'm going to say straight off the bat, I think it'll be Celtic. I think he should be Celtic's highest rated player. I'm going to go 81. I'll give him 80. Um, I think I think me rating him eighty one would make him the second highest player in the league. Behind Tav. 
think I gave Tav an 82. What they'll give him? I think they'll give him a 79. Fuck, I, I don't think they'll give him that much. I was going to say 77. We'll go 78 then in the middle. And uh, Giorgio Giamakis has proven that he's a good finisher, but I think it's clear to see that in the pecking order, he's certainly number two in Angie's eyes. He's not up there with the main man, Furuhashi. But now nah, I still think Giamakis is good. I think he's a, a solid number two. I, I'd say he's about 77. I'm going to go 77. He's, he's, he scores goals. Like, I mean, he, he, he is a goal scorer. Is he the best finisher in the league, maybe? I'll tell you what, like he's a very good number two. Ah, uh, yes. I mean, I'll give him a, a seventy-eight. I think, seventy-eight. I think he's good. He is good. I mean, what they'll give him? Seventy-six. Seventy-six. And that's our ratings. I mean, yeah, Jim Agnes. I mean, see, if Furuhashi got injured for the season, I, you, I don't think you'd panic if you're Celtic because. I just think Jim Atkinson can come in and do a good job. But so. Interestingly enough, we've not said FIFA will give anyone an, an 80 or above. Well, I think we said they would. The Rangers would give Tav one. Yeah, I think we said Tav was the only player that would get an 80 or above. But uh, yeah, let's have a quick look then at the um, at the ratings then. So we've went with the highest rated players in FIFA. We think McGregor, Jota and Furuhashi are all getting a 78. I can actually see that. I'm yeah. just I'm just picturing the the release coming out and those three Celtic players rate at seventy eight. Yep, definitely. Hart seventy seven. I'm looking at the players we've rated, and I, I can see this. I can definitely see these being the highest rated players, even though me and you both think McGregor's overrated, like, and he shouldn't be. Yeah. Interestingly, I so there you go. Um, looks good. Looks good to me. All right, that's it. So that's it then. Um, not many, not many uh, silvers here. Would you well, think that is yeah. fair, or do you think Celtic have been shortchanged? I'd say they've been shortchanged. Well, I think, yeah, but this is us going here. Yeah, there's a difference. I yeah, mean, but we think. I think. I gar. I would almost. I honestly guarantee that there won't be any player in the Scottish Premiership in the eighties. Well, we're only given one, two, three, four. We're given what nine players. We're saying there's nine play. They're going to get nine gold cards. Sounds. I think that's a bit right. I think that's a bit fair. I would be surprised if they get less than that. Quite well, like to be I, honest. I could see them getting about six or seven gold cards compared to last season when the game first came out. I think they're two. McGregor and Julian. Aye. And Hart. No, Hart was a silver. I'd upgrade them. Like. So there you have it, guys. That's the ratings, man. Leave your thoughts down below. What do you, who do you think should be the highest rated player? Do you agree that McGregor, Jota and Furuhashi will be among the three? Ah, funny that. That's who I put in the thumbnail. There you oh, go. There you go. Boom, there boom, boom. Go. It's almost like I predicted that. Anyway, that's it, guys. Till next time. More FIFA 23 rating players coming to you soon. Who do you want to see next? Is it the boys in Maroon? Maybe. Till then, though. Peace. We need strong referees. Make it more.